Hey everyone, my name is Justin. And I'm Eddie. Welcome to the Queer Network. And this is Queer Talk. That was it. Let's talk. When I got back from Puerto Vallarta, I just, I did hit the ground running and go straight into work mode. So I think it's taken me a little bit of time to ground myself back in New York. But after being there and getting to just like fully express in that like gay heaven, like my version of it, um, it was similar to the way I did like two years prior, but that was a different moment where I felt like I was sort of being reborn after leaving the life coaching practice that I had had like with my coach for 10 years, like that, that felt almost like a coming out moment in some ways. And, and then two years later, like that has just exploded into a different, uh, onto a different level. All that said, as exciting as that all is, and you experienced versions of it that were sort of almost shocking to you, like this new version of Justin, and yet, even in all of that, as I have returned and I've been home for a week, like the last couple of days, and I mean, I just share this honestly because I have nothing to hide from all of y'all that are listening. Um, I do feel like I wasted like a good chunk of time in the last couple of days on Grinder, just looking for sex. And it's not that I judge looking for sex. It's that it was the energy of desperation while looking for it that, and it was like, so clearly the, the universe was just cock blocking me the whole way. Like it was just like, anytime there was an almost, it never happened. And, and rather than needing like six days of that to be like, Oh, okay. This isn't the time I'm just learning that I could listen sooner to those and that that it's okay that right now in this moment you may not be receiving this thing that you think you want like you think you need to get right now but we also live in a time where you can get it and I could get it but I now know that if I was to say yes to certain things sexual opportunities that I don't feel good about it wouldn't be good sex and it wouldn't actually be fulfilling as we talked about last week with Jay like, you can have it at any moment if you want, but is it really the kind of sexual exchange that I really wanted? None of that was happening. But I, and so there's like, there was a moment where I was like proud of myself for not um, saying yes to something I didn't want to say yes to, because there were opportunities. But then also the disappointment of like, I still didn't get to have this thing that I wanted to have. And yet, also realizing I've wasted, it feels like a waste, even though it's not, I've wasted a lot of time just like doing the thing, scrolling, talking to as many people, seeing what could come of any little interaction. When, if I think about the times that it happens so naturally, it's because I'm not trying so hard. It's because I let go. I run into somebody at a pool party <laughs> or it like on the street or at the beach that act happened way more in Mexico, for example, than looking for it on an app. And I'm not even saying the apps are bad. We've talked about this many times, but I could just tell this morning when I woke up, I was like, Oh, you slipped back into that for a little bit. Didn't you? And that doesn't feel very empowering. We all, you know, think that we need or want something mm -hmm. and then we pursue it and even if it's not sort of working or coming together we 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 continue to do that instead of allowing ourselves to say okay this is just this is not working today you know yeah. and move on you know yeah. move on to something else but yeah. yeah we do it all the time but the question I, 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 the the question is, why? Mm. Why do, do that? What I'm learning is when we do that, it's not helpful to judge ourselves in those moments. That's just never going to be helpful. But it is important to reflect on exactly what you just asked. Why? Why did I feel I needed to just keep scrolling? Sometimes you you have to look back at, okay, where does this come from? 
why do I, why am I so afraid to put myself out there, you know? And mm -hmm. why am I so um, concerned about what people are going to think or what people are going to say or anything like that, right? So for me, I have, uh, you know, I had a conversation with a good friend of mine and I, I, I figured some things out that, that did come from my childhood and you know a lot of stuff around my dad and whatever so you know again to, to, to the question is like where does it come from like why do we feel this this need to, to stay with something that's that's not working or that you know and the the knowing that it comes from your childhood is like one for example for this specific thing is important and then as you consider how it's affecting your like present life, even though you know some of the whys, let's say you let's say you have a great session with a therapist and you're like, you know, this is more abstract, but that you figure something out. It doesn't mean that you'll all of a sudden everything will be different and you'll never do that thing again. Like that's why I brought this up today, or that's why I was thinking about it. So I was like, even when I thought I had gotten to a certain level, there's always not I don't even want to say you're slipping it's just like there's old behavior that's like really ingrained in us after years and years and years and years and years and it takes more time than you think to unlearn and then read and then learn new ways that are actually more empowering to you why did you feel this need to go on to you know grinder and as you said you know waste time for two days yeah. or whatever you did what, what what where did that come from the initial desire was that i wanted to have a sexual experience mm -hmm. and maybe that was because i didn't have any in i didn't have any in puerto Vallarta, which Not was a lack of trying <laughs> again there's where you know doesn't matter who you are everybody experiences a level of putting yourself out there and then not receiving something and then getting disappointed. I wasn't necessarily disappointed. There were some feelings of disappointment, but I was like, okay, it's fine. And then when I got home, I was like, I think in my mind, I was like, I'll just, I'll just find that when I get home, I live in New York city for God's sake. And even being back here, the, the ways in which I've gone about looking for that at first, I was just very like, you know, when it happens, it's going to happen. But that's a slippery slope for me. because, And that's me personally, I know, is that all of a sudden, it's like every day when I have a free moment, I'm looking for that. Because in my mind, I'm like, oh, well, it could be now, it could be then, it could be then, it could be now, it could be here, it could be walking through the park, it could be but anything. The, but the question is, why? What What is, is it strictly because you want sex? Or what is the, it, it's almost like when I say there's something like, you know, I go on Tinder whenever I have a spare moment, just because right. I, I, for me, it's a little bit of a control thing. I just like to, turn, turn, turn it's a game. Yeah. It's a and, and it gives me something to do. And, and to me, it's almost like the lottery. Yeah. I mean, you have to play it in order to win. Exactly. Exactly like what is it for you that you just had this need is is it like because there's to me when when we have this need to do something like that and we stick with it even though we know it's like wow well, like why am i doing this mm -hmm. there's a need that is that we are trying to fulfill yeah i think there's a level of i crave um some physical intimacy with someone and that, you know, we talked about this last week, what's the difference between sex and intimacy? I find myself, and this is again, where I feel like I'm learning about myself in this moment, that I have grown from a place where when I was likely looking for a level of intimacy, I would still say yes to sexual experiences that I wasn't actually that into, but knew that's where I could get some intimacy and then have the exchange and be quite in the end disappointed that I even did it because it wasn't even like that good or worth staying up till five in the morning to to get it. So I've grown from a place where I don't I now don't follow through with that impulse 
because I know it's not actually what I want in that moment. Like, even if, yeah, it's just different, but I still, as I reflect on the last week, spent a lot of time looking for this thing and not receiving it, getting disappointed, but almost also frustrated. <laughs> when I said this earlier, when something is not happening, you have to think, okay, so you either have to think, why is this not happening? Or not even think about why it's, it's just say it's not happening. So not move happening. on. Exactly. And don't, and don't, oh man, how many, how many of us try so hard for things like going on the grinder and spending yeah. hours and hours? And I mean, you know, grinders just such a, such a, can be such a, a damaging, hurtful thing, you know? Yeah. Um, but other things, but even, even just like, you know, going to a bar or whatever like if you if you i just believe if, if you're supposed to connect with someone you're going to connect with somebody and yeah it doesn't mean you're going to stay home because it's not going to you know come to your door oh. you can put yourself out there but but don't it's about expectations mm -hmm. and if it's not working just let it go that's my point for all, of all this and and that is honestly the hardest thing to do is the letting go like in the, in the way that like when you when you tell somebody this is all you have to do and they're like well that's the fucking hardest thing to do so that's going to be really hard to do what this moment is and yet the reflection upon the week that I just had is also a part of the process to and you can have that reflection with yourself you could have it with a friend you could have it with a therapist there's many ways to reflect not even necessarily why but just recounting the actions of of what you did for me the reflection of what i did during the week wasn't be like okay trying really hard right now justin and nothing's happening so perhaps give it a rest like there's nothing to accomplish right now you don't need to go get something if you want some intimacy provide that for yourself like how can i be intimate with myself i wouldn't even say to someone that's what you should have thought before this is the journey to that thought is that I experienced the disappointment, the continuing to put myself out there, the getting home thinking, oh, I'm in New York, it'll be easy. Then I get here, nothing happens. Oh, I just need to keep going, keep going, keep going. It's simple. It's not that hard. I'm not wasting that much time. Getting to this moment where two weeks later, it's like, okay. I am lis I'm listening. I hear you loud and clear. I, yes, I want to have sex. <laughs> but having sex right now is not going to immediately solve all the problems that I feel like I have. When something is not working, because what, what could happen is you could go on tomorrow on to Grindr yeah. Or, or, you know, I could go for a walk on the beach and yeah. like just meet somebody, no problem, or connect with somebody. And then it's like, okay, that's the moment. But when it's not working, just let it go. Right. But it, wouldn't you say that like there's moments that that is the reason you sort of, oh, I'll just scroll one more time because you're like, it could be the next one. It could be the next one. It could just be the, and that I think for me, I have to remind myself that like, yes, it could be. And also, you can put the phone down for a little while. You can, you cannot make it the focus of the the pursuit. It's like I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go to the beach to find someone. How about we just go to the beach? That's my point. Because the other part, what you were describing, is one more, one more. That's like an addiction. Exactly. You and know. that's I think what so. this feels like in reflection upon this week. It felt like. I was a bit addicted to this, this pursuit. And it was humbling for me um, to just remind myself that even though I was off the high of being with you in Puerto Vallarta, uh, of visiting uh, Jason in, in LA, like all of that was a, a bit of a high. And then I came back knowing that like, okay, you can still fall. And that's just part of the journey. I'm just grateful that I have friends.
friends. I have you. I have, there's people in my life that I can talk about these things with, even share it on here that I don't feel like I'm being judged while sharing them. It's, it's more of an opportunity to share the experience and see if anybody else can relate. I, I don't want to get off track of the, of, of the point. It's yeah. like, let's take an example of the phone with grinder. If it's not working, put it down. Mm -hmm. you know, if but I'm going to be you. I'm going to be you for a second. Ow. That's easy to say. But in the moment, it's fucking hard. It, it, it is, but you just have to trust. Mm -hmm. so you have to trust that, that this is not the moment for it. And you have, to, you have to think, okay, well, I'll go on tomorrow. And maybe it'll be different right. tomorrow. And, and, and it's even before going on, it's not having the expectations. That's the problem. Yeah. You know, going to a bar. Okay. So you go to a bar, you have a good time, but you don't meet right. anybody, you go home. You don't know what's going on in other people's lives and why things aren't working. I just, I just firmly believe that if something is supposed to happen, I mean, it's your saying that you say many times, what is it? What's meant for you will not pass you by. Exactly. And that is the crux of this. And that could be the title of this, you know, in fact, it is the title of this, <laughs> you know, and just, just let it go. Yeah. Let it go until what's supposed to be for you will happen. You know, exactly. again, easy to say into your question, how do you do that? Well, I think all we can say is we can sort of provide what we think and how, what we think the answer is, how to do it, you know, for ourselves, for ourselves. And, and it's up to you. How do you get there? How mm -hmm. do you get to that place? I mean, it's easy for us to say, and we, we fall and fail all the time. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's why, why, that's why I brought this up today is because I want people to know that like, this was me, this is what I, this is what I feel like when I'm failing. I'm like, okay, that is not who I want to be in the world. And that's okay. Because knowing that is how I'm going to change that behavior. The first step to getting to where you want to be, or to understanding is to realize what you just said is to realize that what the problem or the challenge is and then it's like okay now i know what this is let's deal with it yeah and oh. like we always say one step at a time you, you're not going to solve it all in one breath in one session in one reflection in one conversation in 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 one anything it is a journey one quick thing here on um i know it's an ad for for uh for in drive here, which is like a, a um, uh, like an Uber or whatever, but they they they're always putting out things about you know they have delivery service or whatever. Right. And the title of this thing is "Stop Searching." It's like I looked at them, like, what what is that? I love that the universe, even in the most obscure places, will always give you messages. Always, if you're listening, it will. You can go out there and there's nothing wrong. I mean, searching is a searching can be a positive or a negative. Yeah. You know, you can go out there and look, but not be attached to it. Mm -hmm. Not be attached to the outcome. Right. Yeah. Right. Just allow the universe to do its thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, it'll make it'll make your life a lot, a lot easier. Yeah. Um, how do we want to wrap this up for people? I think this episode was all about um, letting go of what's not working. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, remembering that what's meant for you will not pass you by. Absolutely. That's really what this was all about. Episode 20. There you go. Well, thank you so much for watching everyone. Um, once again, we did not plan this and we always find exactly what we're meant to talk about, which is exactly what this episode's about. Like what, what's meant for us never passes us by even in this podcast. So thank you for listening. We love hearing from you. Please comment below if you have something to add to the conversation. Uh, like, subscribe, sh come on the channel with us, queer at the queer network.com. You know the drill. We love you. Uh, I hope you enjoyed our new intro. We had so much fun making it in Puerto Vallarta. Thank you to Eddie for putting it together. It was fun to be beside you while we did that. Um, yeah. Anything else?
Keep it queer. It's the only way to be. Can't go wrong if you keep it queer. Truly. That's it. True. You know. Bye, y'all. Peace, <laughs> peace, peace. Peace out.